Hi students, welcome again to e-commerce radio lecture, Unit 4, Electronic Data Interchange, EDI. Last two videos we discussed about uh, definition, history, and uh, users documents in one video. Second video is EDI process and EDI standards. Third video, we are going to understand about uh, EDI features, EDI benefits or advantages between the organization with other organizations, disadvantages and limitations. This third video consists of uh, features, benefits, disadvantages and limitations. Okay, now we are going to understand about the features. So what exactly the EDI, EDI is a, a structured formatted documents communicated between two computers or uh, within the company or with other company itself. So a network computer to computer network will be developed and the documents will be shared between the one mailbox to the other mailbox or one company to the other company or with the many companies depends upon the standards which they are using okay so one is uh, the uh, first feature is uh, structured business information in standard formats between computers so edi consists of a structured business information or uh, in a structured format structured format so business information will be shared in a standard formats which can be easily understandable by the receiver computer as well as a sender computer with a special software. So the other feature of EDI is reduce the data entry. Data entry, suppose if you, if you raised a paper document, First, you have to enter in the sender computer. Later, you have to generate a document and take a printout, post it, and the receiver supplier will receive your document. Again, he will enter into his computer in either invoice or acknowledgement. So, this double time entry will be eliminated or reduced. And the paper is also totally written. The usage of paper is totally reduced. And the business cycle from letter draft to the received and, and again sending the acknowledgement or reverse document, that cycle is a maximum reduced and it is improved. And EDI is a structured business documents which can be shared among internal groups as well as external suppliers, sub customers as well as subsidiaries. So these structured documents can be shared among the departments internally, externally with the suppliers, customers and subsidiaries. Another feature is uh, EDI information transfer over a network will not have to read or retype or printed, but have to predefine structured agreed documents between the two companies which send and receive data. So, in the, from this paragraph, we can understand there is no need to read, read or retype or print out. So, a, a document which is structured format send to the company and uh, it will be stored in a sending company as well as a received company. The two companies are groups which exchange information through EDI called as a trading partners. So, there are some companies which are doing similar business will have the same software that can be that can be that can be used that software for sharing the similar documents these are the features of EDI then coming to the benefits benefits are two types intra organizational benefits inter organizational benefits intra organizational benefits another one is inter organizational Benefits. Intra organizational benefits means within the company, and uh, intra organization means uh, with other companies. 
intra benefit intra organizational benefits for number one cost benefits second one is time benefits third one is information management benefits and another one is organizational benefits and inter organizational benefits right cost benefits so usage of paper is reduced to maximum extent because all the documents were generated in a structured format and shared through the computers and also received through the computers stored in a mailbox or a separate folders for further reference and retrieve so paperwork is reduced document processing cost is reduced you need not to worry about taking the third party assistance for your documentation process because uh, documentation process will take over by the edi software itself how it will do the readable format is converted into edi edi converted as a edi document which can be shared with the other computer which accepts edi formats so earlier there is a medical transcription one process is there so the data of foreign patients were mapped or recorded in in english by the indian companies to outsource it so what they are doing they are doing documentation so that documentation processing cost will be reduced reduce manpower total documentation generation conversion and saving retrieving storage and transportation how everything is done by the computer so human intervention is very less and reduce the inventory cost the process of sharing the information is very speed accuracy that's why the movement of stocks will be fast once uh, once the purchase order received immediately we will order we will uh, generate invoice and send the goods if the purchase order uh, receiving receiving the purchase order takes place 6 days or 10 days so the stock which we produced will be kept in go down for 10 days the ordering the inventory carrying cost we have to bear the inventory carrying cost for 10 days if the document sharing is through edi once that was uploaded immediately we receive and we will put a request for payment payment also received immediately we will start sending the consignment uh, where the inventory storage or maintenance will maintenance duration is duration becomes less okay so inventory costs are reduced increase efficiency so automatically the transparency in documentation and trust in documentation as well as the speed in uh, document sharing accuracy in uh, documentation preparation so which increase the organizational efficiency which reduce the cost because efficiency increases then automatically saving will increase that leads to decrease in cost okay these are uh, cost benefits next coming to the time benefits so reduce process cycle time the from purchase order to the invoice certain time will be taken to process uh, by process those documents step by step so in this edi electronic data interchange then the documents are shared in structured formats that cycle time from purchase order to invoice is reduced by maximum number maximum number of days and eliminate reduce data re entry i already explained earlier okay once the person who is generating the purchase order he entered and he converted converted into um, edi readable format and again there is no need of entry again in in a seller point of view or supplier point of view so that will be converted into readable format automatically and supporting documents preparation of invoice and acknowledgement uh, eva bill everything will be taken automatically without human intervention that is leads to reduced data 
re entry or eliminating the data re entry. Improve timely availability of product and service. So, once the communication is established in a true and fair manner, automatically products movement will become fast and service rendering the service will become very fast. Okay. When you are not able to provide a, a channel for taking the compliance and uh, to reach the compliant to you, it will take much time. Once you provided a channel for uh, accepting the compliance and when you, through that channel, you receive the compliance, whenever you receive the compliant, immediately you will initiate the action. So automatically, service availability is also very quick and time also, availability time also improves. Okay, these are the time benefits. Then coming to the information management benefits, information management benefits. It, it improves planning, monitoring, and control. What, what will be the planning? So whatever the stock which is available, it is, it is displaying in your dashboard. So based on that, we will have the plans for manufacturing as well as the sales. And this information will be provided in the mailbox through the document documents. And based on that, we will initiate the action, which to be answered, which to be downloaded, which to be responded, and which to be processed. And automatically, we had control on data because total information is available on hand. Increase the traceability. So, so when the physical files, look at the physical maintenance of filing, so you cannot press Alt F, which we used for finding the any word or keywords, okay, any keyword or file, whatever it may be. In physical format, it is not possible, okay. But in uh, computerized, if the data is computerized, then the traceability will be very easy with the traceable tools up, uh, provided by the software and increase information accessibility and timeliness. So data is stored in a, a particular place then it is automatically we can access the information very quickly and within time we can um, create we, uh, within, within time we can initiate the actions and increase the document accuracy. Okay. So the total conversion, translation and uh, communication storage will take place by a separate software which automatically the human intervention is less increases, automatically increases the accuracy of a document. This is information management benefits. Till now, we understood about number one, cost benefits, number two, time benefits, number three, information management benefits. And the next one is uh, organizational benefits, increase effectiveness. So once the data, we had a control over the data and based on that, uh, we will uh, initiate, we will uh, prepare a plans and we will execute those plans in an effective manner. Automatically, organizational effectiveness will increase, which leads to reduce the wastages and red reduce the time and that will help the organization to increase the benefits. Improve or enhance intra-form business process, uh, intra-form business process. So within the organization, exchange of information will become very fast, very fast. That's why so it will improve the information sharing between the businesses. Okay, na? Earlier, government GOs, whenever, Government GO issued a GO and they will they will be provided to a particular department, printing press, I think. Printing press will print the GO and will give to the publishers. So when when we are preparing for the examination, and there is a book for uh, government GOs, latest GO, which is uh, up to 31st May itself. Suppose. So we have to, then uh, every time we have to update ourselves 
by buying the new book. But presently, you just understand whenever the government issued a GO, it is uh, making a rounds in WhatsApp. There are some confidential GOs also there, but uh, those are also available with the uh, which is uploaded in the government website. So, which improves the and uh, improve or enforce infra from intra form business process with the document with the help of the information sharing through documents and it will improve the business process business process another one is growth so whenever we are controlling the leakages and reducing the wastage automatically then profit will grow that leads to growth of organization main or uh, maintain or gain competitive advantage the effectiveness of organization which make it compete with the other organizations once it will become effective and automatically it is trying to lead the or invade the other organization other organizations are make a a competitive form to the other organization. Sometimes so there is a possibility of merging them or buying the other organizations also. Okay, because we are very our administration or production, everything is perfect. That's why we are growing and our profits are more, which help us help uh, which. Um, make our coffin very full of coins that help us to purchase or grab the other competitor and improve customer's service. Okay, I already told, once you made a communication channel to the customers, customers will respond quickly, automatically you will respond. If you respond immediately, then the customers will be happy and your business will grow, grow and that leads to growth of your organization. Okay, so these are your organizational benefits. So inter-organizational benefits. So whatever the benefits within the organization, within the organization. Enhance coordination between trading partners. Two banks are communicating, then their business will grow. Two insurance companies are communicating each other internally with the CDA software, and their business will grow. Okay. Establishing long-lasting or closer trading relations. Once the uh, each company will will have their business, it will continue for a long time also, which will make them have a closer trading relations. Trade relations and improve and enforce inter-firm process and uh, policies. So there are two firms, three firms, four or five with uh, the similar nature or with the other one automatically it will increase the processing and policy documentation reduce the supplier base facilitate and lead to vertical integration vertical integration in the sense two manufacturing concerns will be coming into one manufacturing concern or will uh, will made it made into may will be manufactured with the other organization also. They will integrate with other organization also. Because both are using a similar software and their, uh, their functionality is with the EDA, Electronic Data Interchange. Add a value through supply chain. Add a value through supply chain. How the add value is adding? Once the a product which is passed through the level by level, and when you are improving the efficiency, automatically its value is increased. So these are the internal organizational benefits. Now we will see about the disadvantages. So one disadvantage is these are strictly standardized and there are not like our white papers, which you can write. They, their formats are very strict and with those formats only we can communicate. 
and already we studied in uh, second video then EDI is having many standards and there are many companies are developing and many bodies are developing different different standards. So there are various standards bodies who have developed the standard document formats for EDI which can cause problems which cross compatibility. Okay. So for each organization then they have to develop a develop these standards that is a little bit difficult to the um, person who is uh, developing the software. These standards bodies also push standards versions annually which could cause problems if you have a more recent version of a document than a business partner. Just to you understand how many times you upgraded your phone many times and so once Disadvantages are one is the standard bodies also push standard variations. Many times you upgraded your phone, and how many times you will upgrade? How many times your uh, manufacturer is upgrading that, giving the versions you will? So, in same manner, different, different bodies are giving the different, different versions, and it takes. It is a little bit of confusion and also problem to the software which is to be upgraded, which is not to be upgraded. And EDA systems are extremely expensive, making it difficult for small business to implement a separate software which was written for the installation, implementation and usage of the big organization. So it is not possible for the usage of small organizations. And the same, many large organizations will only work with the other who utilize the EDI. So many organizations will communicate with the organizations which are using EDI. So this may also limit the business with the small companies. Okay, these are the disadvantages. Then coming to the Limitations. It is expensive. Yes, it is 100% because uh, they have to develop uh, standards, application language, and uh, interface language, communication language, and protocols. They have to develop uh, more amount to, to be invested in the form of uh, hardware as well as uh, software. Initial setup is time consuming because we have to map the documents. That's why it takes much time. EDA standard charges. The business process depends upon EDA standard format. If any of the standard format changes, then the business process has to be changed according automatically. Once you, earlier, the application form is different and now the application format is changed. Automatically, what we, what we will do, okay, it will be we have to change the software, we have to change the protocol, we have to change the format and everything. So it takes a time as well as costly. System electronic protection. EDA is totally with the data transmission. So totally business to business and that is in electronic mode. So there is a threat of attacking the virus and possibility of hacking and there will be possibility of malware which eat data uh, information and the other possibility of frauds are then other people may enter into our network through false IDs and they can steal our information. Okay, That is uh, protection a little bit uh, difficult and also risky sometimes. So what the people will do if suppose our organization is a huge organization so they will steal our data and they will threat us to pay ransom amounts to give back our data. And staff training costs. So EDA is not like our big home computer course. It is a, a separate software. And all the people have to be and trained in computer computerized, computerization knowledge and digital knowledge as well as a separate software knowledge and coding and decoding, installation, okay, all these they have to be trained 
all the stamps should have to be trained, which leads to investment as well as a cost to the organization. Proper backup. So data to be uh, to be protected and to be stored. That's why it is a it is a need of our to take a backup. So that's why we have to maintain huge storage. We have to maintain huge storage, secondary storage. But that uh, it is extra cost as well as extra investment. And uh, so I already told the companies which are installing the EDA will communicate and have a trade with the other organizations which are using similar software or similar type of EDA. So then small organizations may not come into or cannot get the trading partnership with the large organizations. That's why our trading partners are limited. Okay, students. So unit four, that is lecture four, which we will going to discuss types of EDA. Types of EDA. Those types are direct EDA, EDA with via van, and EDA via AS via AS2, web EDA, and mobile EDA. Next next lecture, we will understand this uh, types of EDA. So what we learned in this video are four things. One is features, another one is benefits, another one is disadvantages, another one is limitations. Okay, students, by and also you have to go through the video. Just check. Hi students, welcome again to e-commerce video lecture, Unit 4, Electronic Data Interchange, EDA. Last two videos, we discussed about uh, definition, history, and uh, users, documents in one video. Second video is EDA process and EDA standards. Third video, we are going to understand about uh, EDA features, EDA benefits or advantages between the organization with other organizations, disadvantages and limitations. This third video consists of uh, features, benefits, disadvantages and limitations. Okay. 